Hi everyone and welcome back to the Massman YouTube channel. In this video today we're going to be looking at the rules that are associated with adding and subtracting negative numbers. The video is going to be broken down into four parts. The first part we're going to be adding a negative number and a positive number. Then we're going to add two negative numbers together. Then we're going to have a negative number taking away a positive number. And then finally, we're going to finish with the bit that everybody always gets wrong and gets confused with. It's when you have a negative number and you take away a negative number. So in the first section of this video, we're going to investigate what happens when you have a negative number and you add a positive number to it. And we're going to work through these two examples here. But before we get started, if you would like to receive um, weekly videos from the Maths Man, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I am a fully qualified primary school teacher and I do know what I'm doing. Anyway, let's get straight to it. So here in this first example, we've got negative four plus seven. So if we think about this question on a number line, when you're adding a positive number, you're moving this way. You're moving to the right on the number line. So I would start at negative four and I would simply make seven jumps. Negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, positive one, positive two, positive three. And that would give me an answer of three. So if you have a negative number and you're adding a positive number, you can get a positive number most of the time you will get a positive answer but the next example is going to show us that sometimes you can get a negative answer so here we have negative four again and we're only going to add two this time so we're going to go to negative three and then to negative two and that would be the answer on this one so this here, as you can see, is a negative answer and this one's a positive answer. And the general, well, the, the rule is if this number is smaller than the starting number, and by smaller I mean this is a 2, this is a 4, and I'm ignoring the sign, uh, then you will get a negative answer. If this number on the right is bigger than the number on the left, then you will finish with a positive answer answer. So in the next section of this video we're going to investigate what happens if you add a negative number to a negative number and we have two examples here. So when you're adding two negative numbers together the first thing to notice is that we have brackets. Now the brackets are there to make sure we don't get confused because if we didn't have the brackets we'd have an a plus sign and a negative sign next to each other and it would be confusing but the brackets help us to see that this means negative three and that uh, we need to add the two values together. Now when you're adding two negative numbers together you're actually moving to the left on a number line so your your number will be getting smaller. So negative two add negative three would mean negative three, negative four, negative five. And that would be the answer here. So see how my number got smaller, even though I was adding, which is a little bit confusing. Here we've got negative five and we're going to add negative five. So I'm gonna go negative six, negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. So again, I am adding two values together, but the number is getting smaller. Now, when you add two negative numbers together, you always get a negative answer. So if you've added two negative numbers together and you've got a positive answer, you have done something wrong. In the third section of this video, we're going to investigate what happens when you have a negative number and you take away a positive number. And here are the two examples. Now, the first one is negative five take away two, positive two. So um, when we're taking away a positive number from a negative number, 
we're going to go left on the number line. So our number is going to decrease. It's going to get smaller. So we have negative 5, and we're going to take away 2, negative 6, negative 7. So this answer here is negative 7. In this example, we've got negative 8, take away 5. So again, we're going to go negative 9, negative 10, negative 11, negative 12, um, negative 13. And the answers are going to be negative 13. So if you have a negative number and you are taking away a positive number, you will always get a negative answer. The key thing here to realize, which some people get confused about, is that negative 5 is a larger number than negative 15. Some people think that because it says 15, that this is a larger number than negative 5, but it's actually negative 15, that's the lowest number, the smallest number, and negative 5 is actually the largest number. The further left you go on the number line, the smaller the number gets. So the final section of this video, before I give you a test, before this video finishes, we are going to investigate what happens when you have a negative number and you take away a negative number. Now, this is always um, the questions that people get confused with and they end up getting the wrong answer because something strange happens. So here we have negative 8 take away negative 10. Now, even though this is a taking away question, we're actually going to end up with a larger number. And the reason for that is because when you have two negatives together like that, it actually changes it into a positive. So an easier way to think about this is negative 8 plus 10. Okay. So if I start on negative 8, I'm going to actually add 10. So I'm going to go negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, negative 1, uh, plus 1, sorry, plus 2. So negative 8 take away negative 10 actually gives us an answer of positive 2. So in this next example, we're again starting at negative 8, and we're going to take away negative 5. But remember, when we have two negatives together like that, it actually changes this into a positive. So we have negative 8 plus 5. So we're going to have negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3. And the answer to this is going to be negative 3. So if you are, have a negative number and you are taking away a negative number, you can get a positive answer, but you can also get a negative answer. And the general rule is if this number here is larger than the number that you started on the left, then you will get a positive outcome. Whereas if this number here is smaller than the starting number on the left, then you will get a negative number. So now it's your turn. What I've done is I've made four questions for you to complete at home. Get a pen, get a piece of paper, work out the answers, and then write your answers in the comment section down below, and I'll check them for you. Good luck with that, and don't forget to smash the like button if you have enjoyed this video and you've learnt something new. Thanks again for watching.